Now we're going to define a quantity called the inner product or sometimes known as the dot product. So you've, you've probably heard of the dot product before, um, but in general we call it an inner product. So definition. And we're going to explain why this is important. There is a there's an intimate relationship between the inner product or dot product and angles, right? So uh, the inner product between two vectors say u and v is the quantity and we write u big dot v so this is why it's usually called the dot product because there's a dot there it's u1 times v1 so we just do entry-wise multiplication and then we add up all the all the resulting numbers all the way up to u n v n right so these are sitting in n-dimensional euclidean space so this is also the dot product now recall that an angle is a measure of length of an arc of radius 1 between two lines. Right, so if we have two lines, and we want to measure this angle, right, and we'll call it theta usually, then we take we start here, we go out of radius 1, and we start on this line, and then we move in this direction, and that is exactly what theta is, is the length of that arc, right? Um, and and this theta tells us how the arc length scales as we change the radius of the arc, right? So the length will be r times theta, where r is the radius, right? And of course, um, theta, of course, has to be in radians for this to be true, right? Radians as opposed to degrees, right? So for for vectors, though, right? For vectors, we've got a vector, say, v here, and we've got a vector u, and let's suppose they both start at the origin, these two vectors. Well, implicitly, there's this third vector, u minus v, right? If I add this to v, I'll get u back. And that's really nice. Basically, what I have right now is a triangle, right? And this is in, this is the picture in n-dimensional space, even. So the, in n-dimensional space, essentially it looks like this, right? If I could, if I could figure out, you know, just how to look at one particular plane, this is exactly what it would look like. And I've got some theta here, right? So theta is the angle between these two vectors, right? And I want to be able to measure it, right? Um, and and the reason we can say that it lives in a plane is because if you have three points, that defines a plane, right? So I have zero, I have the end of this point, and the end of this point, and that's a triangle. That's a plane. So I really, I want to be able to figure out a number, I want to be able to calculate that thing. So we have the following theorem. And we can prove this. Let theta be the angle between u and v in r n then and of course we're talking about angles and radians then u dot v right so the inner product I can relate that to this by saying it's the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v right so so double lines right next to each other can be a problem, right? But this is the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v, so a little little tiny dot there, times the cosine of theta. And that's exactly the relationship that I have, and that's a beautiful relationship. That tells us I have this really nice algebraic number, and it relates to this really nice geometric number. 
so proof. And, and, and you look at this, this is not complicated, right? You can just do that. You do it, and it tells you the angle. And that's great. Seeming that, and the angle is kind of a complicated object, right? And so the trick is, well, we're just going to use the law of cosines. So we're going to use the law of cosines. On, on this picture here. So we're going to use the law of cosines on this picture here. And so the law of cosines on that picture says that, well, u minus v squared, so the length of this side squared is going to be equal to the length of u squared, so the length of this side squared, plus the length of v squared minus twice the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of theta, right? And, and already we see, well, this is definitely the term that we want in the long run on this side, right? On the right-hand side, we want this. So we're going we're gonna to fix it so we get that on one side. So in order to do that, the first thing is we subtract off uh, u, the length of u square and the length of v square, and that'll give us u minus v square minus u square plus v, and that'll be minus v square is equal to negative 2 length of u times the length of v times the cosine of theta. Great. So now we get rid of this negative 2, and when we divide both sides by negative 2, what do we end up with? On this side, we're going to end up with the magnitude of u square plus the magnitude of v square minus now, right, so we, we multiply by a negative, the magnitude of u minus v squared all over 2, and that's equal to u v cosine theta. So this side is good, and now I just need to show that this side is just equal to the dot product, right? Well, so let's expand out this numerator. So this is going to be u1 squared plus u2 squared plus all the way up to un squared. So that's the length square of my vector plus v1 squared plus all the way up to vn squared. And then what do I get here? Well, I get minus a u1 minus v1 square minus u2 minus v2 square minus all the way up to un minus vn square. And all this is going to be divided by 2. And when I multiply things out, what do I get? This is going to be equal to, again, I have u1 square plus all the way up to un square plus v1 square plus all the way up to vn square minus u1 square is going to show up here plus a 2u1 v1, so that's what I get when I foil this thing, right? Minus v1 square minus dot 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 minus un square plus 2 un vn minus vn square. And this is all divided by 2. Yeah, that was a bad line. So this guy's going to cancel out with this guy. This guy's going to get canceled out with this guy. And all the intervening numbers are going to cancel out similarly. Similarly, this guy cancels with this, this, with this. And I'm going to be left with 2 times u1 v1 plus 2 times u2 v2 plus da 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 all the way up to 2 un vn. And so what does that get me in the long run? Well, that's exactly u1 v1 plus all the way up to un vn. And that's equal to u dot v by definition. And that's our proof. So now we have a, a beautiful relationship between this really nice easy to compute number and the angle between two vectors.